Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements Image Size tutorial, I'll show you how to use image size to match the size and resolution of your picture when you're working on a project. Okay, let's get to it. This is a photograph that I used in a previous project. You can see it right over here. Removed the dog over and then brought in this bird. Now I used image size to get the bird the right size to fit into this project. The basic project was cut the dog out, move him over, fix the background, and then bring the bird in. If you want to see that whole project, I have a link for that up in the cards and also down in the description. But now let's just talk about the image size problem. So here's my first picture, and then I'm going to go ahead and open up the picture I used, and that's this one over here, choose open. There it goes, there's the other picture. Now, the size of this picture is much larger than the size of my working project, so that creates a little problem. I'll just pull this in, you can see what I mean here. Let's close that one down. So there's the size of this brought in, and obviously it doesn't fit into the project, so my picture is too big. A couple ways of solving this, three actually. One is just to grab the corner here and drag the picture down and resize it this way right inside on your project. If it's not that critical, you can go ahead and do it this way and it should be just fine. It'll depend upon the quality of your image, your final output and so forth. But This works out pretty well. So if we kind of just adjust our opacity here. There you go. See the bird's about the right size. I had to flip them some other things on that project, but it gets the size just about where I want it to pretty easily. And it does retain a reasonable amount of quality because we're going from a large size down to a smaller size. But this isn't the best way to resize your image to fit. Let me just close that one out. A better way is to place your picture inside. And let's go ahead and I'll show you that one. File and Place. There's our large bird again. Choose Place. It comes in scaled down already to fit onto the size that we need. Then it's simply a matter of just doing small adjustments to get it down to the right size. And the reason why place is better is because Photoshop does a better job, Photoshop Elements in this case, does a better job of refiguring the image using the place command than if you just do the drag and drop like we did last time. But there's still even a better way to do this. Let me just show you the best way. And the best way is to resize your image before you bring it in. And that's where image size comes in. We need to know our, our final size here. Let's go up here to image, come down to resize, and there's image size right there. And here, take a look at two things. Up here is the pixel dimensions. This is 800 by 1200. Here's the document size, 6 by 4, at a resolution of 300. If I take 300 multiplied by 6, that's 300 per inch, Multiplied by 6 inches, I get 1,800 inches for the width. That's where that, come, that number comes from. So we keep those in mind. Pixel dimension, resolution, and width and, and height. We can then go ahead and adjust our other picture before we bring it into here. And I'll show you why that is the best option. Let's just open that original picture up. There we go. Let's look at our pixel dimensions. So image resize, there's the image size, and in here there's a few things you can see. The width and height is much larger, and the document size is a whole lot bigger. This is a real large picture, but the resolution is real small. So the first thing I would do is I would change the resolution to match the resolution of our finished project. In this case, let's change this to 300 resolution. Notice how the pixel dimensions go up when you make that change. The document size stays the same, but pixel dimensions go up. Let's now adjust this to a width of 6. The height comes in at 3.985, which is just about 6 by 4, close enough for our use. And these will now be our new settings. So first set your resolution, then adjust your width or your height, and then your pixel dimensions should drop into place. Now. The last thing, the reason why this is the best way to change the size on your image is this little drop down right down here. This gives you several options. If you're making a small picture larger, 
You can use this bicubic smoother, which is best for an enlargement. If you're making a large picture smaller, you can use bicubic sharper, which is better for reduction. Or if you have gradients, you can go for the best for smooth gradients. And if you have hard edges that are most important, you can use this one for the preserve hard edges. We're going to be using best for reduction, and that is going to retain as much quality as possible when we resize this image. Choose OK. There we go. It's now been resized properly. I'm going to save this file. So File, Save, put it right there on my bird medium. Choose Save, replace that one, and there we go. There's the saved file. Now when I drag this in, it's already at the right size, right there. Let's just close that out. So all I need to do is just a little bit of size adjustment, not too much, to get it to its final proper size for the project. So that's the best way to take a large picture down to work into a project is to resize your picture first before you bring it into the project. Let's look at the other possible problem in here. And that is if we have a file that's too small. Here is the same image. This actually is the medium size which I have saved over to 72 pixels per inch instead of 300 pixels per inch. So let's go ahead and open this one up. This will come in too small. Open this one up. See, there's the picture. Looks just fine. Remember, this is at 72 pixels per inch, and this is at 300 pixels per inch. So when I drag this in, it comes in much smaller like that. There we go. I'll close this one out. Now we have the same couple of problems in here. How do you get this to be the right size? We could just drag this up like this and stretch it in, and if the image quality isn't that important. This would work out okay. Actually, it would work out on this particular picture. It'd be just probably just fine. But there's still a little bit of an image quality loss when you do it this way. It will be a little bit soft along the edges, a little bit soft focus in here by doing that, dragging it up like that. So that's not the best way to do it. Let's just delete this. Another way to do that, of course, is the place command. So let's do a file place on this. There we go. And again, it comes in resized at maximum to fit your image size. And then it's simply a small adjustment. And this may work out fine. This will be a little bit better than the other, the first technique I showed you. But there's still a better way to handle this as well. Let's just cancel that one. And I'll delete that layer. The best way still is to resize your image first using image size. Let's see how that's done. Go to File, Open. And there's our small picture. Choose Open. There we go. And let's go up here to Image, Resize, Image Size. And simply look at your dimensions. OK, it's 6 wide is almost 4 tall, so that's fine. Come down to Resolution. Let's change the resolution to 300. In this instance, we're going to be enlarging the image. We're going in a larger number here. So let's change this and use Bicubic Smoother, which is best for enlargement. Choose OK. Increases the size of the image. And now, even though it's kind of zoomed in here, if I drag this in, this should just about be the right size for our picture. Let's go ahead and see. I'll drag it in. And there we go, because we matched the resolution size on that. So now both pictures are set at 300 pixels per inch, resolutions match, and then I can adjust this, you know, final adjustment as needed right there. So there you go. That is how you use the image size. And again, it's image, resize, image size. And do your resolution first. If you need to adjust your width and height, do that second. And then from this drop-down list, look at what's in the parentheses and choose what is it you're doing. In most cases, it will be either be enlarging it or reducing it and then choose one of those two options depending. And this will give you the best quality for your image resize to then pull into your combined project. OK, so that's the way I got the originals in here. Resize properly, a little, little small adjustment, of course, for the final step. And it makes a real nice, clean image that way. So there you go. That's how you use the image resize and image size right there. If you want to look at this project, I'll again put the link 
in the video at the top upper right hand corner up there and also down in the description. You can go ahead and find that over there. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.